Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Culpo and I'm gonna walk you through my skincare routine and how to get my signature rosy, dewy cat eye look. Every morning I start with my vitamins, of course. Lately I've been taking this Zitstika Skin Discipline. This just really has everything for like clean, perfect complexion and it's honestly made a difference for me. And it has this minty flavor to it so you can't taste the fish oil, which is a godsend. Plant-Based Cleanser by Sunday Riley. So I love this because I find it to be very hydrating. Okay, I'm gonna put some water on my cleanser, rub it together, and then just put this all over my face. So this is the um, Desi mask. The brand is called Desi Pro. I usually do 10 minutes on the blue light and then 10 minutes on the red light. The blue light helps if I have any breakouts. And then the red light helps if I have any like spots from picking my breakouts. <laughs> This is the Glam Glow Firming Treatment. The most important part for this is just like connect the dots because then it's easier and more fun to peel it off. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to show you guys how I whiten my teeth, which um, I'm very excited about because this is a new product. This is the Crest Whitening Emulsion. The reason why this is so cool, you don't have to rinse it. I can just see how quickly it whitens my teeth. And the other reason why I like it is you can get really far down to the gum, so you can, so you're not missing any areas. Jeez. So I'm gonna try to peel this off as cleanly as I can. Okay, I almost did it perfectly, but not. So I usually just take my Neutrogena wipe and wipe away the excess. So I love these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels. These are these are one of my like original go-to products. And it's just a, a, a really deep, deep exfoliation. I don't use this every day. I would say I use this two or three times a week. So I'm gonna leave this on for two minutes and during my two minutes, I'm gonna whiten my teeth again. <laughs> Step number two. the Pro Heal Serum Advanced by Is Clinical. And I'm just gonna use a few drops on my hand. This is just really great for protecting your skin and also helping with hyperpigmentation, any sun damage. I love this hyaluronic serum from Dr. Barbara Sturm, but then I also like the calming serum if I'm breaking out, but then I also like the glow drops. I'm gonna start with the hyaluronic serum. I find this to be so hydrating. And these are the glow drops. This is like, uh, definitely adds a little bit of a glow to the skin. Eye cream, I use Dr. Barber Serum Eye Cream. I really like this because it's a very whipped texture. As you can tell, I am a fan of the brand. I really am. Once I find a brand that I love, I, I'm very loyal. I love this super, super goop unseen sunscreen SPF 40. It's completely clear. It almost feels mattifying. So I combine this with the Tatcha water cream and I personally don't love a matte finish. So that's why I'm combining it with my sunscreen so that I can still get that like sheen that I love to get with my moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Gold Spun Lip Balm. Okay, next we are going to go into makeup, which is super exciting for me. I love makeup. I love all the different products that I'm gonna show you guys. I try new ones constantly. Um, so we're gonna start out with the Strobe Cream by MAC, and then I always combine either my, my moisturizer or my primer with the Clarins Glow Drops. This is what I use to give my face a little bit of color, a few drops, like two to three. Highly recommended, though I've been using this since I was in college. Another thing that I will use sometimes to add a little bit of an extra glow if I'm feeling like I want a little bit of color is this Saint-Tropez Self-Tan Express. 
Okay, first step for makeup is concealer. What I've learned with my makeup is just kind of targeting the spots that I find to irritate me. And then I build from there. Cause I don't ever wanna just like put makeup all over my face if I don't have to. So I really got into makeup. I would say when I was younger, I always definitely really loved it. I didn't feel very confident in my ability to use it. And I also realized that not everybody will know your face as well as you think. So when I would get my makeup done, for example, when I was really young, or even when I was doing pad, when I was doing Miss Universe, for example, I just felt like looking back on those photos, I don't even know who that person is because it was just too much. Um, so for me, I'm not a huge fan of changing what your face looks like. I like the idea of enhancing your the things that make you different instead of creating a whole new face. I actually just like working with the canvas that you have. I'm gonna use the Clay de Peau Concealer, which has SPF 25. This is a great concealer, like really, really great product and will last you years. For foundation, I love this Cogendo High Definition Moisture Foundation. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. I honestly, I really try not to go crazy with the foundation. If I look back on photos where I have too much on like my eyes or too much foundation, I cringe. Like, um, definitely Miss Universe photos, like, oh my gosh, like my nose was non-existent. It was way too contoured, which I just don't, I would never normally contour my nose, for example. I absolutely love this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This is an, another original for me. I've used this forever. Just gonna spray that. Maybe while that's soaking in, we can go to the eyebrows. So for eyebrows, of course you wanna brush them up. I just use a spoolie sometimes. I use the Glossier Boy Brow. I like this because it's white, but it dries clear and it's malleable. So like you can work with this after, let's say I do my bronzer and like I kind of mess up my eyebrows again, which that pretty much always happens. And then after the gel, I always use my Dior Brow Wiz. Actually, this is a Dior Brow styler and I'll only use this in the spots I have to. So like this eyebrow is pretty good, but like right here on top of that, I'm just gonna kind of even that out. I always say that makeup is kind of like cooking. Like if you like to cook, you're going to be a good cook. If you like makeup and putting on makeup in the process of it, you're going to become good at makeup. It's kind of just putting in the time and like really finding the fun in it because it is creativity. I love the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. So this actually has a glow and a bronze. I honestly pretty much just use the bronze part of this. After that, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow that's actually a bronzer. And this is the Film Star Bronzing Glow Medium Dark. So another trick that I've learned with eyeshadow is the most important thing to do is to blend. Like you really just wanna, the more time you spend just going back and forth and back and forth, the more professional it will look. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I swear it's true. So for my blush, I actually use all of these. I go like this. I just touch it all. Glow, smile. But if I'm ever like really in a pinch, I have to go to an event, like this would be something that I could definitely do in a car or like in the dark. <laughs> Our liquid eyeliner, I'm using Patrick Star One Size. I always put my liner on the outer, like sixth of the eye, quarter to sixth of the eye. I don't start from the inner corner. I always wanna just achieve like a lifted open eye this way. So I wanna start definitely at the end and get my little line where I want it. So once I have this line idea, I'll go to the other side and try to make it as even as possible. I just pull back the skin. No wing is ever the same every single day. Like sometimes it will be thicker, sometimes it will be thinner. It's just like, I can't always nail it, but that's fine. 
Next, we're gonna go to highlight and then we're pretty much almost done. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury highlight, easy highlight wand. You just squeeze the top and you can just put it right on the cheekbone. And I put a little bit on the tip of my nose because it lifts the nose. And like I said before, I don't like when my nose looks super skinny. So I feel like that helps it kind of like whoop. So let's go to lips. I'm absolutely obsessed with the Dior Glow. And the thing that I love about this lip is that it actually looks different on everyone and it changes according to your body temperature. So it stays on as a stain once it dries, but it's very hydrating. So I just put this all over. This is the Whirl MAC Lip Liner. I put the lip on first now, and then afterwards, I'll kind of like just go back in where I, I feel like I really need the liner instead of just doing it everywhere. So I'm just gonna put this on my finger, and I'm just gonna dab. So I'm gonna finish curling my eyelashes. Final step is the Laura Mercier. Um, translucent powder. I'll take my little sponge, dab it and blow, and then just put it in like my problem areas. So you guys, this is the look. We're gonna spray it one more time with our little mist from MAC. Ooh, also my perfume that I love so very much. This is new from Louis Vuitton. This is California Dream. I love this scent. And I have to say, like, I just feel like when you smell good, you feel good. Okay, so I definitely need to brush my hair. We are just gonna go in with our texture spray. We're gonna work with the texture vibe that we have. Um, this is a dry texture spray from Oribe. I'm a huge fan of this. We're just gonna spray underneath and just give it a like a little rub. Maybe the other side. Another product that I recently become obsessed with this is air paste i'm going to use this actually because this will really get those suckers down because they're annoying me today extra okay you guys i think i'm ready to go this is my final look i hope you all learned something and thank you so much for watching